Um, hello. Hold on. I'm still fixing this so everyone can see. Um, is the uh, Discord fixed? I thought I fixed it where you can view message history. Everyone blame it on Nandela. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to change permissions because I don't want everyone to get notifications, so I had to change some permissions on it. And then uh, I guess I just messed everything up. So we're back. And I think we're good. Um, there isn't anything in there right now. What the heck? I can see everything in there. Yes. For everyone, permissions, manage channel, manage permissions, manage webhooks, create invites, send messages, send messages and threads. I have one right here that is a read message history. <laughs> for 47 seconds? Why for 47 seconds? What's the significance behind 47 seconds? You are so fierce. You're so fierce. Wes saw his girlfriend today. Just seems right for 47 seconds. There's no other rhyme or reason. It just feels right. All right. I'm down. Yeah, you saw your girlfriend today. Lucy, huh? Lucy's a poodle. And well, Lucy was the first dog that Wes saw when he was... He was nine months, and it's the first dog that he smelled who was in heat. <laughs> so he has the biggest crush on her. It's his first love. Anytime that we walk down the same path, like today, we miss each other because she was taking the higher path and we were taking the lower path on this one little section. And I saw her, but I knew Weston's here. And we got to the section that they just walked in. And uh, Wes smelled her and made a beeline the entire way down the trail looking for her and he couldn't find her so we went to the dog park we chilled there for a little bit came back saw his friends saw a few more friends and lucy was coming the other way and wes like he generally does this where if another dog's coming that's like off leash he just sits and waits for me or waits for the dog to come over and then he plays but for her wes sat looked back at me i was like okay go and he just made a beeline for her. It was the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a, a Disney movie in there. Oh my gosh, he's just the cutest. Now he's tearing apart his bed on top of my bed again. That's like your thing, Wes, huh? That's like your, uh, that's what you do, I guess. I don't know. Um, I think you can see everything in there now. I think it just takes a while, so. I think it should be good. Oh, wow, what the heck? Um, yeah, I think it should be good. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's just chill. Let's do a few. Let's do a warm-up archive. Or we're doing an easy one. Go back in November of 2023. And we'll do a Tuesday. Um, I was so mad that the stupid audio stopped working after the, after the recording. It was because I took my AirPod Air, uh, AirPods out and put them in the thing. But there was something else wrong with it. I couldn't get it back running, which is alarming. So I got to figure that out this week before we uh, record. Probably we're going to record Tuesday. Man, that was a bummer. Um, also, I'm going to, I'm going to... Yeah, we're gonna restart the whole thing, yeah. I know. The sucky thing was the recording had stopped. So that was a real sucker, that was a real bummer. So 
So like, I don't even have a recording of it. I was trying to figure out of, uh, like someone said, I think uh, Lana said just pull out my phone and I was thinking about that, but I was thinking about doing it on my computer, but I couldn't get it. If I pulled the uh, wires on my computer, the, uh, the entire stream would have shut off. So I was trying to manage somehow. Uh, add as mod. So I don't know. I know they didn't. They I I like kind of bade their conversation a little bit. Like they didn't talk about crazy stuff. They were just like, "Wow, that's crazy that that happened." They were talking a little bit about how they couldn't believe. Jen was just talking about how she was so happy her predictions her were right. That was so funny though. <laughs> They're gonna. I like yeah. I talk. I told them to just chill a little bit. So they talked a little bit about that, but they kind of just. Um, yeah, they kind of just chatted about their predictions. That was really it. So we'll start again. I mean, this is, it's going to be fun when we actually do the recording of it. Man, but that was, that was such, that was so freaking annoying. I know. <laughs> um, I don't think it was a defense mechanism. I think Jen was right. I think it was, uh, that she, um, just got the prediction right. So that's why she laughed. Um, but uh, yeah, the Tonks death was devastating. They even were like Lavender when Lavender died. They were like, oh. But it was interesting. Even in the beginning, we were talking about their reactions being different from if they had just read this quickly. Which I think is, I think is definitely the truth. But I don't know. Because sometimes when you read something slower, you connect with the characters more because you're just thinking about them. So I don't know. I know I should have had them make voice notes. Uh, I don't think it's confirmed. But, um, kinda. She gets bitten. Or at least she just gets bitten by the werewolf. And then... Does Trelawney, um, hold on. What's up, bud? Yeah, I always assume she died. But Hermione killed her, right? With the stunning spell? Yeah, that, that uh, Trelawney moment was so funny to me. I, I kind of forgot about that too. It's such a good moment though. There were so many great moments in that that chapter. Man, that was just, that was, both of those chapters were all time chapters. I can't wait for the forest again. Cause it's gonna be great. Cause they know that Harry has to die now. So when he dies, they're gonna be like, this story sucks. <laughs> and then he gets resurrected. So it's great. <laughs> It's gonna be so lovely. I know, me too. Like these, the, uh, even you guys are all saying it. This is when it begins. <laughs> I know, it's so timely for Easter. This is uh, this is when it gets really good, guys. I know, it really is like th this chapter. I had not I had forgotten so much, but the Elder Wand chapter, I had forgotten so much. I had forgotten how slow Voldemort was to get out his like his words he was like toying with Snape he just kept saying like I need something like you don't understand and he just kept like dangling that like a carrot <laughs> it was brutal Ooh. but me Katie and Miko are right and uh, everyone else is wrong about Snape <laughs> I'm just kidding. That debate was going. That debate was going hard. No one, no one debates if he's good or bad. If he's on, he's on the good side or the bad side. Did he actually love? Did he have the capacity to love? Yeah, it was friendly. Yeah, I like a good friendly debate. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in our little, uh, in our little community. <laughs> yeah, I'll die in that hill too, actually. I feel comfortable being on Nemo's side in any debate except for the Snape debate because Snape, he just absolutely hates Snape. <laughs> uh, 
I know. The way that he died was pretty brutal. I love, uh, too, that Jin picked up on, uh, the, uh, the look at me so quickly. Because in the movies, it's spelled out for you. When Snape goes, you have your mother's eyes. Because they, they assume you're, like, a dumb person. But, um, halfway through the, the Princess Tale chapter, Jen is like, that's why Snape said, look at me. And I was like, that's so good. That's so great. And then the, uh, always, <laughs> that was a funny moment too. I was like, there it is. Finally, guys. Man, that was, uh, that was good, guys. That was great. <laughs> but, uh, we'll keep talking about this, but let's do a, let's do a crossword in the meantime. Um, what does make millions say? Make millions say. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's kind of true. Yeah, the epilogue wasn't great. The epilogue wasn't, I, I mean, the epilogue wasn't the worst thing in the world. But the ending, that's why I think Harry Potter is so, um, so apt. Or no, I'm not apt. I, sorry, I, uh, that's why, yeah, that's why it's so, get rich. Um, that's why it's like one of the best series of all time because of the ending. I feel like there's not a ton of, uh, <laughs> thank you, Nandala. There's not a ton of series that end that well. Like, if you think of George R. R. Martin for how his ended, yeah, his hasn't ended. So everyone's like a little nervous. C.S. Lewis has ended well. Or uh, actually, C.S. Lewis's each book ended well, but it wasn't like a series like this. It was different. It was all over the place. His was a little unorganized. But Tolkien's ended really well. There's not a ton of series that end exceptionally well. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're doing a live read. Yeah, guys, we're doing a live read for everything, so chill. <laughs> live read from this point on. When have we not done a live read? Um, yeah, she tied up a lot of loose ends, which is great. I thought Narnia actually did end well. So I'll, I'll debate you on that one. The, but uh, Narnia as a, as a full series was... I think each individual book ended well. I don't know if the series ended well. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just a... Yeah, agreed, Katie. It is just a satisfying ending. Maze Runner ended <laughs> as well as you thought it. The first Narnia movie, the, the Narnia movies were crap. They need to make a series out of the Narnia. I feel like that'd be that would actually be a good series. But each book is so different and so unique that I don't know if that would really work. It would be all over the place. It really deserves like each each book deserves like a long series. I like the first Narnia movie. The rest. I didn't like it all. Uh, departed on a flight. Yeah, it took off. Sorry, I'm forgetting this. Uh, opening in a pet carrier. Prince Caspian is a babe, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is an anthology. But it's kind of the same as uh, Tolkien. But Tolkien wasn't writing it to be an anthology, though. Barbie director is doing the Narnia books for the network? No way! Uh, Greta Gerwig? Um, air vent? Really? I will say, I think, um, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader is the best opening line of any book that I have ever encountered in my life. I think the opening line to that book, anybody know that? Air vent looks bad with Get Rich. <laughs> I love Greta. She's a great director. Uh, tiny country in the Pyrenees. What's this one? Tiny country in the Pyrenees? Air hole? Um, the book was uh, The Voyage of the Dawn Shredder. The Chronicles of Narnia. It's a series. It's the third book in the Narnia series. What's up, Wes? You are just a stinker. 
No one knows uh, Andorra. That the beginning of the, that book is his name was Eustace Clarence Scrub. Or he, it, it says there once was a boy named Eustace Clarence Scrub, and he almost deserved it. <laughs> it is easily the best opening line of any book that I've ever read in my life. I mean, like. Uh, the opening of Harry Potter is a great line, but C.S. Lewis's book, Crown of the Voyage of the Dawn Shredder, his name was used, there, was, there once was a boy named Eustace Clarence Scrub, and he almost deserved it. It's such a good line. <laughs> it's such a good line. Such a good opening line. Uh, colorful rhyme for gloomy weather. Go away, rain, rain, go away. Coming in another day. I don't know. Colorful rhyme for a ginger. <laughs> Colorful rhyme for a ginger. Doesn't fit though. Netflix will cancel out after three seasons. Bummer. Redhead, yeah. Um, harmful reaction to an infection. Um, a lot of colons. Six colons. Gray day. I like that. <laughs> Maybe it literally is colons. <laughs> Could you imagine? Worse. You're so you're such a stinker. You're so good. At, you're so good at a uh, tug of war. You're the best. You're the best that there is, Wes. Oh man, you're so tough. <laughs> Crystal, st Crystal has to defend everything that she does now, saying it wasn't on April Fools. <laughs> Surveillance org, NSA. You are the best. Uh, yeah, you're so good at this. You're so good at this, buddy. Uh, sepsis. Wait. Nineteen across. Sepsis, sure, I like it. I'm guessing that's iodine. Uh, San Jose, yeah. Uh, San Jose is in Costa Rica too. Col colorful f rhyme for a filming background. Green screen. Copied. Okay, so this is a puzzle we have to do. we have to take a guess on everyone across and think of and see if we can get it. <laughs> I like sepsis. Um, you don't want to. What is a uh, Jables? What is the uh, the phrase you always say? You don't want to like ick another person's yum or something like that. What is that thing that you say? I think you said it once, and I loved it, but I forgot what it is. Uh, copied, cc'd, aped. You don't want to yuck another person's yum. I think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, they do love aped. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that. <laughs> uh, church council. What's the church council? Is a... That's, I'm guessing that's classes. One card, I'm guessing. Or classed? D class elder church council. I don't know. Would it, would it be a board? Isn't it like an, a board? Church council. Got to be classes right here, right? Oh, you're so tough. You're so fierce, Wes. Lyra's brightest star or Lyra's. I don't know which one it is. Lyra or Lyra. New Nemo is going to come out with that one. Love that. Go bananas. Crazy. Go bananas. Uh, what a musician, what a street musician may use to collect tips. A tin. A can. 
I know we are, but we're going to come back to them. Don't worry. Savannah Bananas. A hat. Okay. Everyone is very adamant that it's a hat. Sure. Um, go Bananas. Domain. The Savannah Bana Bananas are your favorite baseball team. I think they're really boring, to be honest. <laughs> I see them on TikTok. They pop up on TikTok all the time, and I get so bored watching that. Crazy. I like that. Crazy realm. Tis the season. Uh, sign seen at an SPCA center, perhaps. For sale. Isn't that the dog, the pet thing? Adopt me, yeah. <laughs> Outdo. Add pot me? You don't like to add pot me? Adopt me. Outdo. With 46 across, colorful rhyme for a 1966 Donovan hit. Cyril? Isn't he like a church person? I want to say like Cyril of Alexandria or something like that. Sign it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Outdo. Hop in as a party. Lit. Soccer star Mia. Yeah. Hot and spicy as salsa. Chunky? I don't know if that's hot and spicy though. Sticky notes. Colorful, albeit rare rhyme for an item at the hardware store. Flaming? I don't think it's flaming. I'm going to say no to flaming. If it's flaming, I will never do a crossword again in my life. <laughs> Finland joined it. NATO? In 2023? I don't know. That's the only thing I think they would join. A whole country would join. Big name in tractors. Deer? Uh, ruckus? Grandson of Adam. I don't know if that rhymes, Cecilia. <laughs> Does that rhyme? I like your enthusiasm. But I don't know. Ruckus. <laughs> it's all that matters. Grandson of Adam. It's always like Esau, right? Enos? Yeah, I guess Enos. Enos. Work goes smoothly when you know the right steps. With Asana, you can a 44 is mellow yellow. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? In hard a hardware store is called mellow yellow. What is this one? Outdo. Top. Hot and spicy as salsa. <laughs> See, it's got the South African accent. Ruckus. Adus. <laughs> Um, 
from pages that point to other pages. Hyperlinks? I don't know. Chipotle? Maybe? Nope. I think crazy is wrong, right? What would crazy be then? Picante? Sure. Nail is a color? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, 36. We're not doing the downs, Lana. Come on. We're only doing the acrosses. Go bananas. What is go bananas? Crank? Reek? Yeah, Gwen S. I like that. <laughs> I think it's Freak. Uh, US. You're so, uh,. You're so fierce. Colorful, albeit rare rhyme for an item at the hardware store. Ruckus. Pages that point to other pages. Did someone guess this one? Forty-five down, looking crazy. Yikes. Maybe that's not lit. I don't think it's lit, right? Maybe, I don't know. Links? This one's Kaling, someone said. We don't want to do that yet. Hoffman as a party. Ruckus. So this one is lit. Lanos. Lalanos. My eye itches. Index, okay. All right, Wes is down for the count, so we're good. Benjamin, who wrote the Tao of Pooh. Benjamin, who wrote the Tao of Pooh. <laughs> it's just that title, it's a good title of a book. Whoa! Imagine if it's orange door hinge. Dang, Jables, that was a good one. Relish, it makes sense with all the other ones. Poor, OED, Eden. It's Kato. Eden. Yeah. Corn cake? Pony? <laughs> uh, ruckus. What is ruckus? And what is Benjamin who wrote the Tao of Pooh? Pooh Benjamin Hoff? Oh, stop hitting the print screen button, John. Ruckus. 51, okay, 51 is good enough for me. <laughs> uh, ruckus. 
Maybe this one's into. Hey, nice guys. We did that whole thing without doing any downs, mostly. Nice work. All right, let's get to the normal scheduled program here. Strands. All right, picture this. Oh, come on. Lights, DST, tripod. Nice. Lights. How the heck? It's just light. Oh, toe, gra. <laughs> Am I going crazy? Is there no why? Oh, P-H-Y, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just had a seizure or a stroke there, wow. <laughs> I couldn't find that. <laughs> Becky's gone, this is painful. What else am I missing? What else is here? Flash, where's flash? Timer. Lens. Flash. Filter <clears throat> and camera. Hey, that was easy. Ah, <laughs> oh, toodles. Sorry, welcome. We still have the, the today's crossword to get to and it's a Saturday, so it's gonna be tough, hopefully. Connections, connections. I know your father. <laughs> I entertain myself so much in this. Uh, create four groups of four. <laughs> Tough for noobs. Power. T ball. Fly ball. Power ball. Drive ball? Drive will resolve, yeah, hold on. I wanna, I wanna do the, the balls first. Hat ball, radish ball, radish ball. Frick. <laughs> All right guys, hold on, hold on with your clues. I'm over here trying to figure out what the blank ball is. Shorts ball, will ball, drive ball, I'm just, Sent myself up for failure. It's probably none of these. <laughs> there are no balls here. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, power. Drive. It might be drive. Hold on. Someone did the drive. Desire will resolve. I kind of like that one. Desire. Will resolve. Bummer. Horse ball. <laughs> Hold on. Battery shoe radish hat. They're all fish. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't even see them in brackets. Gosh. <laughs> so you guys can even even joke in uh in brackets and I'm gonna think it's real. Series set array battery? Wait, wait. wait. Series, set, array, battery. Hmm. 
uh, show. Wait, shoe, I'm guessing. Sunglasses, shorts, hat. Shoe, radish, power fly. Now, no, this isn't right because we guessed radish before. Wait, fly, T, power. Wait, I, there's so much stuff going on. I can't figure this out. I can't read it. Um, what am I ignoring? Shoe? It's not radish. It wasn't radish. We tried radish before. Yikes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we, we did their all clothes, but I'm saying that these, these four didn't work. Wait, horse fly, horse shoe. Okay, hold on. Forty has something here. Horse fly, horse shoe, horse radish, and horse power. Hold on. Guys, I know. Will you guys freaking relax? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of chat right now. I'm very tired, so I can't really read everyone's stuff. <laughs> you guys gotta give me a break every once in a while. Sunglasses, hat, tee, and shorts. Golf stuff? I don't know. Summer gear. There it is. All right, we did it. There you go. Um. Okay. On to letterboxed. <laughs> Letterbox. Can we get it in two? the real question um yes we can can we build it I'm just going to sit back and wait for you to. Monkey? Money? Monkey? Uh, so toodles. That's the second word? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so toodles and crystal. Here, here it is. We need to spell words. Um, we have to try to solve this in five words, but our group is so good, we solve in two words. Really, uh, Katie and Nemo are so good, they solve in two words. The rest of us kind of just watch them play. But you have to go from one side to the other. You can, if I use a word, if I use a letter here, I have to go to this one, this one, or this one. I can't use the same letter in this. So it always has to go to another side from the, from the side. So like, look, F, U-T, Nemo, that's incredible. Future is Zum. It goes all different sides. And the next word is monkey. Wow, you guys are incredible at this game. Monkey. I did a terrible job of explaining that, but do you get it? <laughs> I'd be astonished if you got the uh, point of the game from that. Uh, yeah, the people in our group are ridiculous with doing it in two words. That's just next level absurd. Um, oh, we did we did connections before we did letterbox. Whoops. All right, let's do the wordle. What's a good wordle word? How about how about money? Because we had money. Horse. Horse is a good word. Horse is a great starting word. We're, we're waiting for Becky's first word though. We're all waiting for Becky. Becky 
always gives us the first word. We don't play this until Becky gives us the first word. <laughs> Steam because your Steam keeps crashing. <laughs> what are you what are you trying to play on Steam right now? Scold? I feel like they've used that before. Ah, bummer. Imagine if that was right. Oh, I'm still waiting. Cities, skylines. Nice. Never played that. Um, how about canned? Crusty? Crusty is one letter too long. Crime? I like crime. Well, not, no, I don't like crime. You know what I mean? <laughs> Crust. Crust could have been a good word. No, because no S in that. Because the S is in scold. Hitch. I like that. It's not bad. Two H's, though. Go for it. Hey, there we go. Nice. Pinch. Oh no, one of these. Could be Finch. It could be Winch. It could be Kinch, Jinch, Binch, Vinch. <laughs> Finch or Winch? I mean, we have two more guesses, so we're probably gonna get it. It can't be Cinch. Oh no, it can, it can be, no, it can't be Cinch with a C. Nope, can't be. It can be K, Kinch, <laughs> whatever a Kinch is. I'm going to guess Winch. I think it's Winch more than it would be Finch. Unless they're like really going with a spring theme. Let's go with Winch. Ah, this is a little nerve wracking. What if it's not Finch? Can it be anything else other than Finch? A winch is like, uh, I don't know if the spelling is right, but a winch is like you put on, they're like the things that you put on cars. You, like a winch cable. I don't know if the spelling is there though. Yeah, like this, yeah. A winch. Finch. <laughs> wow, that was a little nerve wracking to be honest. All right, well, we did it. Now everyone's favorite, except for mine, spelling bee. Um, okay. Start spelling, people. <laughs> Justin Winch Fletchley. <laughs> Wench. Ew, goop. Poop, wow. <laughs> Real cool. Real mature there. Peep. Peep hole. Ooh, inappropriate. Glop. Plop. People. Gallop. <laughs> like when you gallop over people. <laughs> Hippo. Poop. Loop. Elope. Maybe file. Help. Logo file. Wow, pangram. There it is. There's our pangram. Loophole. I think we got loophole. No. Loophole. Geo file. Nice. Ah, oh, what? How is that not a word? I feel like that's a word. A lollipop, nice. Goofle, what the heck is that? Forty. Cecilia, have a great night. Peel, pill. I think we have hoop already. Pogo, we're almost there. Popole. 
That's so inappropriate. Polio. Who? Le Lipophile? What the heck is that? Eye hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're geniuses. No, it can't be three letter words. Lip. Yeah, they start coming. What is a le leapophile or, or a lipophile? Wow, Nandela. It's so inappropriate. <laughs> People who love liposuction. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. All right, let's see the crossword. Pegged in the goop hole. Wow, it's disgusting. No, why does it always make me do Sundays? I just want to do Saturdays. Hmm. All right, let's do Saturdays, April 6th. Vivacious. White Russians, example. It would be plural, so it's like, uh, I don't know if it'd be cocktail, co unless cocktail is pl the plural in some weird language. Cocktail is the plural of cocktail. Cocktail. <laughs> right, let's, let's coin it and make a cocktail. That just clicked. I get it. Competitor on Master Chef. You guys remember the show Iron Chef? That was a great show. I actually really liked that show. <laughs> that was a really fun show. Can't they all just get along? High Station. High Station. Lands resoundingly. Wow, that was so dramatic. Wait, amateur for what? Oh, for this one? No, you're spelling it wrong, Becky. Sorry. the American spelling. <clears throat> Lands resoundingly. Thuds. I like thuds. Eponymous Milwaukee Brewer Frederick. Q word. Intend. mean like I mean I mean that yeah deep shade of blue deep shade of blue Azure. yeah I like that something that many people share Dodgers foes for example yeah we spell it but I thought Becky was spelling it in a British way like they spelled it like amateur Oh my gosh. Becky, this is for you. Ready? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Oof. As you all, yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Film with the tagline in space, no one can hear you clean. Wow, that's a weird film tagline. I feel like Becky or uh, Lana is going to know this one. In space, no one can hear you clean. Whoa. Really? Alien? 
<laughs> it's just breath play. <laughs> Wally? Is it Wally? I feel like it'd be something Wally would say. I feel like that's definitely a Wally one. I, okay, it is a sad movie. I think it's, I think everyone gets sad at the beginning part. I think the second movement of Wally is not good. <laughs> I don't think it's good at all. I think it's so forgettable. But the first is great. <laughs> you clean, not scream. <laughs> yeah, Alien uh, is definitely here you scream. Do they, does Wally take that from Alien? That's brilliant, actually. I've never noticed that. In space, no one can hear you scream, which is probably Alien, right? In Wally, they say, in space, no one can hear you clean. Wow, that's actually kind of brilliant writing. Find, presented with a ticket. Yeah, Wally was a little preachy, yeah. Uh, heard enough. Request to chat. Op uh, options for claustrophobic patients. Options for claustrophobic patients. Uh, open MRI. Nice. <laughs> All we knew about Alien was the line in space. No one can hear you scream. Wow. You, you're not a, you have claustrophobia? Ugh, claustrophobia is. Ugh. Book it. London Dunderhead. Blank Van Rossum, programmer who created the Python language. No. Wait, Guido? Nice. Yeah. Um, I'm less terrified of space than I am of open water, like deep water. Ugh. I'd rather get lost in space, just float around out there, than uh, get lost to the expanse of the sea. Because, you know, there's no, like, creatures coming out to get me in the middle of, uh, in the middle of space. But there are creatures coming to get me in the middle of, of, uh, the sea. <laughs> Forty, uh, you're wrong on this. Well, I mean, you're absolutely right. Space is bigger. And I'd probably go crazy, but... Like the movie uh, Gravity, you ever see Gravity? That scared me significantly less than every single sea movie ever made in human history. Like every every movie that they're on the sea. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, lead into location. Yes, Jables, I'm with you. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of space movies that scare me, but nothing like sea movies scare me. Yeah, definitely skydive. Um, ideal for home theaters for short. Notably circular formations on Mars. Weren't they like craters? Yeah, skydiving. Or, uh, yeah, both are terrifying. Dunes? <laughs> Interstellar is a little scary, to be honest. Are the dunes circular on Mars? Oh, no, I don't want to imagine that. I'm not going to imagine that. 
even swimming in a pool, I'm like, oh, there's probably like a big shark in this pool. It's gonna come get me. <laughs> Cup alternative. Bowl? All right. Ruckus. Wow, look at that. Ruckus is another one. Yeah, cave divers are just ridiculous. I don't think it's a do, but maybe. Blank table. Flowers that are a source of the anti-inflammatory drug colchicin. Poker table. I like that. I don't know if games table would be it. I don't hear games table too often, but maybe. Oh man. Nothing scarier than the sea. Uh, Afghan region whose name means black cave. Oh, that's kind of cool. Gathering like Brickfest live informally. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Yeah, that show is terrifying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when the sh ships are going like that, and the people on them like jump and they're like, leave the ship, or like people going overboard. Oh my gosh. It was a great show, to be completely honest. <laughs> Why do you want my, my fears preserved? Crocus, thank you. Lana's the only one focused here, guys. Come on. Uh, Anti inflammatory drug. Colchicin, Croci. <laughs> I don't know what breakfast is. Your guess is as good as mine. Encouraging signs in the market. Cold weather outerwear. <laughs> Cold weather outerwear. Long time name in top 40 radio. Upswings? Maybe. Yeah, Seacrest. Stereotypical beatnik. Parkas? I like parkas. Stereotypical beatnik. I don't know. Demerit. One-time treat with chocolate cream and vanilla cookies. Something mark, yeah? I like that. One-time treat with chocolate cream and vanilla cookies. Cinderella's calling card. I don't think I get it or thuds is right. Oh yeah, I can remember this. So thuds is right. Uh oh, Oreo. Down mark. Wouldn't that be glass slipper undercut? Wine making sediment. This one comes up all the time and I always forget it. I remember uh oh Oreos. Those were those things were great. For like a year when they were really big. Oh my gosh. Oh, those things were so good. I'm still shocked that none of you guys have had a um 
What were those cookies I was talking about yesterday? Or not yesterday, a few days ago. Um, Vienna fingers. Oh my gosh, Vienna fingers were so are so good. Oh, they're so delicious. Thick envelope during admission season, say. 15 acrosses, oh yeah. Oh, not zeros. Oh yeah? No. We'll come back to this, these ones. Uh, for a song. Pictures where people are headscarfed. The envelopes are usually a no, so... Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I like that. You know what a Vienna finger is? Oh, my gosh. They're the best cookies ever. Well, not, maybe not the best, but they're good. They're delicious. You dunk these things in milk? Mm. This is the ultimate dunking cookie. The, these are a better dunking cookie than Oreos are. And I, that is a hill I will 100% die on. I'm sorry, but I will 100% die on that hill. You don't know what water ice is? Well, water ice is a thing in, they say in Philly. Oh, they're such a good shape for dunking. Oh, Nandela, 90, you're my favorite. <laughs> They're so good. Um, for a song. <laughs> it's a digestive with vanilla cream. Well, water ice is different in different places. Water ice is uh like uh how do we say it? Um like Italian ice. Tim Tam? It's probably like some Vegemite weird thing. No, that's not a dunking cookie. Anything with chocolate coating. You can't even get the milk into those things because the chocolate just covers it. They probably, they look delicious. But I don't know about dunker. Come on. These are not a dunking cookie. <laughs> Jables. Jables is having an existential crisis over here. Water ice. It's a Philly thing. People say water ice in Philly, but it's like Rita's Italian ice is really just, they say water ice in Philly. But we don't say water ice. I say Italian ice. My area. Yeah, maybe when, when you've bitten into them. Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, let's do this stupid puzzle, guys. <laughs> it's just a chocolate covered bourbon. Nemo and Becky are on the same page. That looks like poop. <laughs> Don't be lazy. Ooh, mm, Katie, I'm into that. <laughs> Becky is just coming at me tonight. What the heck, Becky? What did I do? This is all because I accidentally muted everyone on the stream, so she's really coming for me. Uh, for a song, pictures where people are headscarfed. Um. <laughs> off take me or leave me musical off another off rent okay um off death be not proud sonnet Cited, yeah, thank you. Okay, let's crank this out, guys. On tap. Oblique. <laughs> Oblique. Court order. Practices photodynamic therapy on. I don't think Azuri is right. Bearings. Older companions. Or older companion. 
Lapis, yeah. Eleven down DDT. Off DDT? What do you mean? Maybe widow? Philosophy profession? Oh yeah, maybe. Deet. Yeah, let's let's uh stash that one. Philosophy profession? Don't shrink. Pieces of punditry. Nothing to write home about. Yeah, Widow is the opposite of companion for sure, but I don't know. Maybe there's something there. It had a question mark next to it, so. Mac, for example. Ooh, nice. Me. D. O. Okra. <laughs> That's going to change a lot. Krokai. Yeah, bowl didn't seem right for that one either. Uh, Mac. For example. Wait, Mac, for example, raincoat? Or are you looking at cold weather outerwear? How's, how's raincoat, Mac? Zero stars. Really? What does that mean, though? Raincoat for Mac? I don't understand that one. Oh, it's a brand? Really? I did not know that. Raincoat is Macintosh. Really? I've never even heard of that. Wow. Cool. You learn something new every day. Present for the approval of. Showstopper. Not clean in a way. Run past, nice. Poker is wrong, bummer. Showstopper. Not clean in a way. Black heart. Craps? Craps table? Yeah, maybe craps table. Black heart in a way. Didgeridoo sound. Drone? Or a drone? Recipient of the inaugural Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. Many a 10 code user. Prior, okay. Cup alternative. Azimuth example. I think Seacrest might, is Seacrest or Upswing wrong? Is Upswings wrong? Cone and Pint? Wait, cup alternative is, wait, wait. Oh, Pint for this one, okay. Oh, nice, Pint and Cone. Cup alternative, cone. Nice. Love that. Nice work. Up trends, maybe. Hold on. Uh, azimuth example. Check. Uh, like toy con. 
That's kind of fun. Uh, cold weather outerwear. Breakfast, I'm guessing, is a Lego thing. Anorak. Stereotypical beatnik berets. Tab. Yeah, June, that's the only way to do it. I completely agree. Because you don't, you know, I want the cone still, but I don't want it to drip all over my hand. So you put it in a cup and you put the cone on top. Junior, you're, you're doing life right. Um, what is this one? Lead into location. Thirty-five down. It stinks. Dis. Oh, dislocation. <laughs> That's a little weird. Book it. Fifties arc. Hold on. Trends. So is this one trends? Okay. Many a ten code user. Enjoy Jables. Have a good date. <laughs> yeah, Kona is more fun, but I'd rather have fun eating the ice cream and not having sticky hands after. Than, uh, <laughs> than having to deal with sticky hands. It's like my least favorite thing. That's why I don't like s'mores. Uh, vivacious. Unruly? Uh, palace guards for 20 down? This is a tough puzzle. I mean, I'm not like crazy focused, but... Palace guards. How about um, plant? <laughs> How many ice cream places have water or bathrooms or water fountains? Most every single ice cream place that I know around me is just a little hole in a wall. You go get your ice cream at and then there's no water anywhere <laughs> unless you buy water and then go dump cold water over your hands. Yeah, they're vans. I don't know bathrooms. 40. Have a good uh, dinner with your fam. Enjoy. <laughs> wow, Ryan is really going for it. I'm still a cup guy or a bowl. Give, it, give me ice cream in a bowl any day. We gotta buy our water. Wait, Katie wants 20 across clue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, eponymous Milwaukee Brewer Frederick Brewer Frederick. Cheaply for what? For a song? Cheaply? High station. Perhaps, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Off. Pictures where people are head scarfed. Seven down is cheaply. I don't get that. Cheaply for a song. Cheaply. I don't get so many of them today. Zombie movie. Sure. <laughs> They're always headscarfed. Okay. Sard. 
Sar. <laughs> Nandel, you just want it to be ass. <laughs> I got it for a song. Cheap. Interesting. Never heard that before, actually. Home Cook? Serena's? That's kind of cute. Maybe? Saris, yeah. I like that. Oblique? Skewed? On tap? Something that many people share. Eminence, yeah. Tap. <sighs> Something that people may share. Is this Gene? I don't know. Meme. Oh my gosh. Bearings. Heard enough? Should need I say more? Aw, and toodles, I love that you have black laps. I love black laps. Black laps are great dogs. Um Practices photodynamic therapy on lasers? Lases? Lases, right? Request a chat. Twenty four down means hold on. Bearings means okay. Credo. I don't know if this one's widowed. Is this one a widow? Can't be widow. Wifey? If it's wifey, I'm gonna be a little mad because it's kind of stupid. Older companion, wise, wiser. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, wait, 31 across, got a sec. Thank you. Don't shrink. Or didn't shrink, sorry. He dared. London Dunderhead. Ideal for home theaters, for short. Afghan region whose name means black cave. Showstopper. Not clean in a way. Hiatus, nice.
No, I think it's this is definitely reserved seat because it'd be Credo. Book it isn't in quotes. Sorry. Yeah, that's how it's reserved seat because book it's not in quotes. So it's not like I'm saying book it, which means which would I would say reserve a seat. Book it is also a reserved seat. On dope. Oh my gosh, that is wild that they actually did that. <laughs> oh my gosh. In HD, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Tora Bora. Black Heart. Shorta? I don't know. Weird. Dodgers foes for short. Intend. Can't they all just get along? Short A for what? Not short A. Is it short A? Oh, maybe. Black heart. If it's spades, then everything is wrong. No chance of giving me spades. Weird. I think we're right on that, but I don't know what, what that would be. Let's uh, uh, fix, fix the rest of the puzzle. What is vivacious? Like a, sh a, sh like a short heart? Maybe. Bubbly. All right, I like that. Undercut. Oh, I see. Nice. That just clicked. <laughs> oh, it's bubbly. Undercut is B side. This is a weird puzzle. Can't they all just get along? Homies? <laughs> I kind of love that. I don't know if that works, but it's great. <laughs> get along, doggies. I uh, can't spell. Wait, doggies? <laughs> Bad thing. This is dumb. I don't like this puzzle. 
intend hope uh irs oh gosh what do we have wrong what did i spell wrong oh bad things ah i see thank you sorry wow that was a really difficult puzzle i'm actually really curious what reddit says about this but look at our stats we're almost at 100 days 97 wow you're actually just above our average our average for saturday isn't that great see what reddit says about this and then i'm gonna jump off nice work though wow that was that was quite the game i don't know why i don't just join this no not sunday nice thousand day streak that's crazy I would say that's, that was a poor one. Ah, most people didn't like that. Look at that. <laughs> this is the perfect comment. Oh, ew. <laughs> This is relationship goals right here. <laughs> wow, that was a that was a wild ride. Alright guys, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure as always. I'm actually um Probably gonna jump on Twitch and just play like Age of Empires. I need to like unwind. So I'm just gonna jump on that. If anybody wants to join on Twitch and just chill, that's where I'm gonna be. Oh, come on. I hate ads. All right, everyone, um, if anybody wants to chill, I'm going to be on Twitch in like 10 minutes, maybe five, let's say five. Let's get a change over the stream key. So if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's crossword, usually at night tomorrow. <sighs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Later, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.